Ahoy, me hearties. It's Captain Mar Bell here with another bounty of booty for my main man, Tim the Collector, you scurvy dogs. And with that, Tim the Collector, here are your books. Where is my booty? Well, hello, Captain Marvel. Good to see you again. I think we're going to short that out. We're just going to call you Captain Marv, though, because there could be, like, some trademark or copyright type stuff that we'd have to worry about. But, you know, uh, I'm just trying to keep it safe. Arr, whatever. I don't understand what you're saying. Uh, no, I, I get that. You're a pirate. And I don't think they had trademark, copyright. You just stole stuff, right, basically? Arr, that's what we do, mate. That's a pirate's way. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, here I got your doo doo doo. Nice. Nice. Silver today for you. What do you think about that, huh? Arr. Yeah, I will take it. Okay, here you go. Pleasure <laughs> doing business with you. Next time the pile better be a bit heavier. Right. Um... I think you ought to look into like the relationship of the price of precious metals to what you brought me, maybe. Better don't argue with the captain. Oh, okay. Alright man. Sorry. It's all good. See you next week. Arr. Rely on it, mate. Uh, Thanks, Captain Marv. See you next time. Alright, folks. We'll get right into this. That guy's a character. I think I'm gonna have to branch out and uh, maybe work with some other factions of pirates, or probably not the Somalian kind, but you know, maybe uh, maybe some Vikings or something. I don't know. This guy's a little off his rocker, but anyway, we'll get right into it. So, what we have? What did Captain Mark bring me today? Let's see. Hmm. All right. Well, not bad. He is redeeming himself. Uh. Daredevil 610, two copies. This is the second print of this book. And the stand is really giving me problems today. I'm going to have to work on this set a little bit. Uh, this is the second print. It is the first vigil. It's a Phil Noto cover. And basically it's Daredevil and Kingpin at their finest going at it. Uh, the next one is Chamber of Chills number one, cover art by Gil Kane from November of 1972. So this book is old. Um, it's not the oldest one in the pile here today, though. Oddly. Um, it's got three stories. Uh, one about a wereman, one about a prison, and uh, obviously one about a dragon. So uh, pretty cool, number one. I've, I've been kind of looking for that. Thought I'd snake it, and I did. So... I'd say it's a fair condition book. Uh, next up, Captain Marvel number 16. I don't understand why this one doesn't get more um, play. So it's the first appearance of the Nega Bands. It's the first appearance of the new, you know, more contemporary suit, if if I'm not mistaken. You know, the black, the dark blue, and the red, and the yellow. So um, it's also an appearance by Super Sentry, and I don't know if there's another appearance of that character. Uh, Carol Danvers and Supreme Intelligence. Supreme Intelligence who gives him his suit. Uh, so I, I try to pick up all these early Captain Marvels. I think I'm missing three or four uh, between one and 20. Maybe I'm missing a few more than that. But anyway, uh, I'm trying to put them all together. It's not a, you know, it's not a high end near mint or anything like that. But I can't, you know, I can't I get what I can afford. Uh, this one's pretty cool. Um, Uncanny X-Men number 8, a San Diego Comic Con variant, uh, signed by J. Scott Campbell. Uh, I paid $25 for that one. It's a, a girl group cosplay cover. So I don't know, I might have overpaid. I don't, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into this one. I just thought it was cool, and I reacted. And usually when I do that and I react, it's not good. So <laughs> we'll see. Uh, next up, two copies of Young Justice number 1, the Robin cover. Uh, it's a Yasmin Putri, and they're, I don't know if these are her first appearances, I doubt it, at least the one. Um, Teen Lantern, I haven't seen that character before though, but it's probably showing up, she's probably showing up somewhere else. And then Ginny Hex, who I, I won't, I'm almost certain is showing up elsewhere, but. Uh, next up, like I said, that was not the oldest book. 
uh, this would get that honor. This week it's a 10 center, Jimmy Olsen number 25 from 1957, so this is 60 plus years old. Um, and it's, uh, that's all I can say about that one really. I find these really old books like that, I grab them because they're history, you know. Um, it's survived that long, that's crazy in my mind. I, it's ridiculous. So, uh, some of these are filler books. So this is the Superman New 52. Uh, it's a 75th anniversary variant. I pay like 50, 60 cents for this. Essentially, uh, when I'm buying something on eBay these days, um, I look at shipping and if they uh, combine shipping, I'll try to pick up some other books to knock that uh, cost factor down, if you will. So this was just like, you know, like oh, yeah, let me grab that. Um, this next one, it's pretty sweet. It's another one that I don't know why it's not getting more play. I want to say this is the first reference of the Immortal Hulk as Devil Hulk. And it's also got that panel where Captain America looks like he's got a red suit on. So, uh, and this is the Marvel Knights 20 variant. Uh, I have the regular uh, A cover as well. I've been following this one right from the get. Um, but this is a cool one that I, I'm surprised uh, I got it pretty cheap. Uh, here's another filler one that I was like, okay, I need to get my shipping down. Uh, Scotty Young, Deadpool, uh, number three. Interestingly, it's not a Scotty Young cover, obviously, as you can see. Uh, he is the writer on this one, Nick Klein, uh, did the cover. Avengers 679. All right, we're getting down to it now, folks. Um, this one is uh, the Hulk variant. And it's the first appearance of the Challenger. Now there's people speculating that the Challenger could be the one below all. Um, I don't know about that myself, but eh, we'll pick it up. We'll see. And then last of those, we got some uh, CGC goodness yet, but um, Generations number one, the Americas. I thought this one was cool because it's got, you know, it's got Sam Wilson and Steve Rogers as Captain America on the cover. This was another one of those kind of fill, and it's a John Cassidy variant, so that's kind of neat. Um, but that was another, let me fill in my shipping on that, so I'm going to set these aside. And uh, we do have a little CGC here, so we'll get into that. And actually, I'm going to show you the one, I did the same thing here on shipping, so they were asking $15 for shipping. Um, this is the book I bought. And it's kind of like to balance out the shipping, um, which now after the fact I look at it, it's kind of funny. It's a 8.0 Uncanny X-Men 248. Uh, what's significant about this is that Longshot leaves the X-Men. No, that's not really what it is. He does, but what's significant about this is this is the first Jim Lee art on Uncanny X-Men. So uh, I paid $22 for this and uh, it's pretty cool. But that's the book I got to kind of like balance out the shipping, <laughs> which now, as it turns out, is probably uh, my favorite of the two. Although, um, this is a cool book too. Uh, New Teen Titans number one. Uh, it's a 5.0, so it's a it's a lower grade book. Uh, I've got a couple copies of this. I don't. I have one other CGC copy. Um, I paid twenty five dollars for this one, so you know. Uh, not a terrible, um, you know, a 9.0 is going to run you 60, 70, a 9.6, you know, a 9.8 is probably somewhere close to high, mid 250s to $300 if I had to guess. Um, a 9.6 is probably close to 200, 160 to 200 maybe, somewhere in there. I don't know. Um, I didn't need that one. Uh, so... A 5.0 for me is perfectly fine, and uh, for the price, I'll take it. It's a Marvel Wolfman story. Uh, it, interestingly, there is a note that George Perez has written in pen on the first page, so I don't know if that's, um, I don't think it's autographed, but maybe it is. I don't know. I'm not going to crack it open to find out, though. So it's off white to white pages, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, so that is the comic booty haul for this Saturday morning. Um, tune in next time we've got uh, a couple videos throughout the week we do a new comics video we do obviously this booty uh video and um 
There's a discount comic book service video I do monthly, and we'll throw we'll pepper in a few extras um, as books kind of come in. They stack up, so uh, we'll do a few of those along the way. All right, you all have a good day.